Good evening and welcome to our evening prayers this evening. It's lovely to have uh, you with us this evening. Thank you for, for joining in. And this, as always, is simply a chance to pause for half an hour and to pray. Uh, encouragement to, to pray for those things that are important. And today, especially, we focus on praying for our changing situation as a church. As more things can happen in our buildings, and probably less things online, um, we, we, we want to pray that the things that we start up would be useful to people. And the things that we have to leave behind because of that would be the right things to leave. And that we would continue to have a, an impact uh, on our community and a strengthening effect on the faith of those in our church. So that's, that's what we wanted to pray for. And with this changing situation, this is probably going to be the last evening prayers in this format. Uh, next week, we're invited for one final time to join with All Saints Walton on the Nays as at their choral even song. They too are moving away from having an online choral even song, so we're invited to join for one last time uh, with them. And then the week after, we will have uh, even song, uh, sorry, uh, Compline, a night prayer led by Phil. And then the week after, that, that's the 30th of May. That's the date when we change things round, or we're planning to change things round as a church and move to just one online service uh, covering morning and evening available throughout the day. And uh, we do encourage people who've enjoyed these evening prayers to maybe use that service as, as their e evening prayer. But um, I I'll say a bit more about that uh, over the coming weeks. But yes, uh, this format, the last one this evening, then Evensong, then Compline, and then the, the, the 30th of May is the date when we plan to change. Though, of course, all these things are um, subject to, to change if necessary, and we may well, sometime in the future, return to having this sort of service. You never know. Um, for, for, for good reasons or bad, we'll see. But... Uh, Let's spend this time praying together this evening. And once more, thank you for many of you who've joined regularly and given this time to pray for our church, uh, for our country, for our world, for ourselves. As we have done in the past, uh, even in these summer evenings when it's um, maybe not yet dark, we're going to light the uh, candle here. Even in summertime, Jesus is still the light of the world, as the candle represents. And we're going to pray that his light would lighten darkness in our lives, darkness in our community, darkness in our world. The evening collect. Lighten our darkness, Lord, we pray. And in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We're going to read a psalm together. And then when we come to our prayers, it's going to be a very simple format tonight. We're just going to look at several areas of, um, of church life that are changing at the moment and pause and leave time for us to, to pray for those. Um, and uh, we'll also spend just a, a few minutes praying for our world, our, our country, our government and so on, at this time of change uh, for, for them as well. And um, remembering parts of the world where the, where the change isn't, isn't good at the moment either. But first of all, a psalm and uh, Mark Holdaway, who helped lead this morning's service, chose Psalm 47 to be read, and I thought we would read it again this evening and just spend a moment or two thinking about it. It's a psalm that he chose because it reminds us that God is in charge, God is king, God is in control, and it calls us to praise him for that. Clap your hands, all you nations, shout to God with cries of joy. 
For the Lord Most High is awesome, the great King over all the earth. He subdued nations under us, peoples under our feet. He chose our inheritance for us, the pride of Jacob whom he loved. God has ascended amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid the shouting of the sounding of trumpets. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is King of all the earth. Sing to him a psalm of praise. God reigns over the nations. God is seated on his holy throne. The nobles of the nations assemble as the people of the God of Abraham. For the kings of the earth belong to God. He is greatly exalted. Well, it is a psalm that reminds us that God is king. The great king over all the earth. A theme that's repeated through the, the psalm as we hear about how he um, reigns on his throne, on his holy throne. And so on as the psalm goes on. Psalm that reminds us that God has got a special people that he, he chose for himself. And he's used his sovereignty to make that possible. But it's also a psalm that reminds us that he's king over all the earth and welcomes people from all nations. God reigns over the nations. God is seated on his holy throne. The nobles of the nations assemble as the people of the God of Abraham. For the kings of the earth belong to God. A God who welcomes people from, from all nations. And because of his greatness, because of his power, because of his loving welcome, we're called to praise him. And it comes both in the, the, the beginning of the psalm and in the middle. Clap your hands, all you nations. Shout to God with cries of joy. Verse 1. Sing praise to God. Sing praises. Sing praises to our King. Sing praises. For God is King of all the earth. Sing to him a psalm of praise. Verses 6 and 7. So we're going to start with a moment of quiet when we can praise God in our own hearts. Praise God, especially that he is the King. So that we know that when we come to him, it's worth coming before him in prayer. Because he both hears and he has the power to answer. Let's spend a moment in quiet, bringing our, our personal praises to God. And at this time, let's spend a minute or two praying for the rulers of the nations of the world. Yes, they belong to God. God rules over them. And let's pray that they would acknowledge that in their hearts. All our rulers and politicians and so on. And look to him for wisdom at this incredibly difficult time. Let's pray for our own government that they might have wisdom and how to, to, to direct the country um, through the, the, the rest of the time of pandemic coming out of that, they need real wisdom. Let's pray especially for those who were elected in the recent elections um, across the United Kingdom and in our own uh, Essex Council area. Let's pray that they would have God's priorities and a real desire to serve people. 
And let's pray too for the, the nations of the world and at the moment India especially comes to people's minds uh, and rightly so that the government there would have wisdom to know what to do about the, the situation. So let's pray for those leaders of the nations of the world. And so we come to pray for the areas of church life. And first of all, let's spend a few minutes praying for our, our main services. And so let's thank God that we can meet in our buildings uh, a bit more and do a bit more there. Let's pray that people will feel able to come and join us for these live services uh, once more. Let's pray especially for those who feel nervous about doing that and maybe naturally nervous after all that's gone on over the last year. And as our services change so that we go back to the original service pattern of 9 o'clock and 10.30 and that the live services get a little bit longer um, as well, pray that we would be providing what's really encouraging for people and maybe pray that very soon the restriction on singing together in our buildings would be lifted. So let's pray towards that 30th of May when we hope just to, to swap things round to, to move to slightly longer um, uh, live services and all that we might do there that would encourage us as a church family. But even after the 30th of May, we want to keep some things online. Some people uh, rely on that noise. Some people are not going to be able to join us in our church buildings just yet. We've always got people who are staying at home for one reason or another. And so we do plan to continue with an online service every week. Maybe slightly shorter, maybe slightly simpler than we've managed. Uh, well, we haven't been doing some other things. And of course, there will be one or two other things online as well during each week. Ask a Pastor is going to stay there. We've got morning prayers on a, on a Tuesday there. And from time to time, there'll be other things as well. So let's pray especially for those who can't yet join us in our buildings. Pray that they would be well provided for by what's online. And pray that as these YouTube services go beyond our church family, 
the right people would be tuning into them to hear the, the good news. Maybe some local people would uh, be introduced to us through the, um, the, the YouTube services and y y other things we put on YouTube. And somehow the, the gospel message would, would get out uh, beyond our buildings through what we've developed online. We pray that it would still be of use to God even um, as we meet more in our church buildings. Let's pray for that just now. And of course our youth work and our children's work has already moved to be live in our buildings again with certain restrictions on it that just makes it a little bit more complicated but doing really well. Our little fishes group is meeting twice a week at the moment because we can't have as many in the building all at once on a Monday and a Friday, slightly shorter, slightly simpler. Our Searchlight After School Club for, for Children is meeting on Monday afternoons um, but is restricted to 15 children at the moment. Our uh, Ignite Youth Group joint with St Paul's is meeting um, on a uh, Wednesday evening and split into a younger and an older group. We've got Hannah and Rachel coordinating a lot of our young people's work. Now, that's absolutely great. And we are looking to start our Sunday fun time, our, our Sunday children's groups and, and Sunday a teenager group up again at, at some stage in the near future. So let's pray for our ministry with children and young people. Let's pray that it isn't um, too badly disrupted by all the changes and all the restrictions. Let's pray that our young people would still be hearing about the Lord Jesus, still be encouraged by meeting with one another, still having fun together. Let's pray specifically for little fishes, for searchlights, for Ignite as well. Let's pray. Well, let's move on to pray for other groups that are, we have as a church and other groups that either have started up or have a chance of starting. Already Bethany's meeting 
and uh, in a slightly simpler format at the moment but looking forward later this month to be able to serve refreshments again which is an important part of people feeling at ease with each other and with so much uh, bereavement in our community at the moment it would be great to pray for Bethany. Phil has been running his What is Christianity group on a Monday night uh, again with just a small number of people but that's been a useful chance to to explain more fully uh, the, the good news. Home groups have a chance of starting up again later this month. We need to pray for wisdom what best to do about them. And you may, there may be other groups in our uh, church that, that come to mind. I would like to pray for, for things like Wednesday worshippers and together in this uh, section as well where, where people can have smaller uh, services and maybe feel more able to come back to these before they come back to our Sunday morning uh, gatherings. So let's pray for all the different groups as I say you, you may think of others as well that we run as a church for wisdom for the leaders of these groups, for people to be able to come along and especially for there to be real encouragement for uh, the Christian believers and uh, a sharing of God's love and the good news with those who are outside our church family at the moment. Let's pray for our groups of all different shapes and sizes. Let's pray too for our Fridays team whose ministry has changed over the last year um, and has done a lot of food distribution but continuing to show God's love to, to those maybe in the most need. But let's pray for wisdom as opportunities arise for it to, to, to change once more to, to maybe doing the cafe again and for Clive and the team to have wisdom to know which the best direction to go is, what things to try, what things to leave behind, how to run these things without becoming overburdened. Let's give thanks for the work of Clive and the Fridays team. Let's pray for wisdom as they plan for the future. Let's pray for that whole side of our, our ministry and maybe other things that it reminds us of just now.
So it's been good to pray for all these things and pray for our church ministries and pray for where they're heading. Let's just remember the words of encouragement from Psalm 47. Again, the end of Psalm 47. God reigns over the nations. God is seated on his holy throne. The nobles of the nations assemble as the people of the God of Abraham. For the kings of the earth belong to God. He is greatly exalted. He is in charge. And that's why we're called to sing praises to our God, sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is King of all the earth. Sing to him a psalm of praise. Let's remember we've prayed to a God who is in charge even of the nations of the world. And as we finish, let's pray too for ourselves. And I'm just going to use the collect for today, the sixth Sunday of uh, Easter, which is a wonderful prayer for us. God our Redeemer, you've delivered us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. Grant that, as by his death he has recalled us to life, so by his continual presence in us he may raise us to eternal joy. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And as we move into the future, of course, times are uncertain for us ourselves as well. And so we're going to let uh, Pam uh, play, uh, us, uh, play us out this evening, play a final song for us. I'm going to trust in God. And it can be something that we want to say as well, that we want to say for ourselves as a church. And as we want to say for ourselves as individuals. Thank you so much for joining us this evening and we listen to Pam and maybe join in as well if we uh, remember this one as she sings. Thank you. Oh,